مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم هلا و ويلكم تو انذر ليسن ان سبوكن ليفنتاين ليبانيز ارابيك ذس ليسن از اول اباوت شوبينج يلا نعمل شوبينج ليتس جو شوبينج Let's start with the first sentence and that is expressing that you want to go shopping. I want to go shopping. So I want plus to go. بدي روح بدي روح shopping. That means أنا بدي روح shopping but in Arabic you don't have to necessarily use the pronoun because it is understood from بدي. Because if you were saying you want you would have said بدك for the masculine, baddik for the feminine, etc. Baddi is a type of a pseudo verb that is it's not actually a verb but it behaves as such and the personal suffixes attached to it. So as I've said, baddi, baddak, baddik, badkon for the plural, etc. So baddi plus verb rah, verb to go. So baddi ruh, baddi ruh shopping. You can also say بدي روح السوق to the market. سوق is market. بدي روح السوق. And then we've got بدي أعمل shopping. This is a very um, common expression that is used in Lebanese. And it literally means I want to do shopping. بدي أعمل shopping. بدي جيب غراض. So بدي جيب غراض غراض literally means things and the singular noun is غراض غراض and the plural is غراض جيب literally means to get or to buy بدي جيب غراض And the last one بدي اتسوق بدي اتسوق I want to shop And now moving on to, do you want to go shopping? بدك تروح shopping. In Lebanese we use want, we don't say would you like, we use want. So بدك تروح shopping, that is when addressing a male. And notice we've conjugated both to reflect the second person masculine. So بدك تروح, that means انت. Another tip in Lebanese, most of the time you don't really need a question tool so you just have to change your tone of voice and add a question mark and the sentence becomes a question that is انت بدك تروح shopping that means you want to go shopping now if I want to turn it to a question I'll just say بدك تروح shopping hence we got a question so let's move on so بدك تروح shopping for a male بدك تروح shopping for a female بدكن تروحوا shopping for the plural so do you want like all of you do you want to go shopping the next sentence بدك تروح السوق do you want to go to the market بدك تروحي عالسوق when addressing a female بدكن تروحوا عالسوق when addressing the plural so when addressing more than one person and the third sentence بدك تعمل shopping do you want to do shopping for a man بدك تعملي shopping when addressing a woman بدكن تعملو shopping when addressing more than one person so for the plural and then we've got the fourth sentence. بدك تجيب غراض. بدك تجيب غراض. بدكن تجيب غراض. So again, masculine, feminine, plural. And the last one. بدك تتسوق. بدك تتسوقي. بدكن تتسوقو. And now let's look at the possible answers for do you want to go shopping? So if someone asked, بدك تروح shopping? What could be the possible answers? So 
for yes you could say ebaddi that means yes i want or i would like ebaddi e bruh yes i will go ليش لا why not so e بدي e بروح ليش لا the next one when you want to say no لا so you say لا no ما بدي i don't want to you can also say ما بدي روح i don't want to go and the last one ما فيي هلا I can't right now or I can't go now. ما فيي هلا. You can also say ما فيي روح. I cannot go. ما فيي روح. هلا. I cannot go now. And to say you're busy, you can say مشغول أو مشغولي if you're a woman. So a man will say مشغول that means I'm busy. And a lady would say مشغولي so أنا مشغول أنا مشغولي for the plural ما فينا هلا مشغولين so ما فينا we cannot right now or ما فينا نروح we cannot go مشغولين we are busy بركي بعدين بركي means Maybe some people pronounce it as بلكي with a L instead of an A. So it depends on the accent. So بركي بعدين. Maybe later. And now where, when and what. So where do you want to go shopping? Where in Lebanese is when. So we use when as a question tool. When بدك تروح shopping? When addressing a male. When بدك تروح shopping? When addressing a female. And when بدكن تروح shopping? For the plural. And now let's move to asking about time. So when and what time. To ask when, you use the question tool امتين and some people say ايمتا so both are the same it's just a matter of uh, accent or pronunciation امتين or ايمتا so امتين بدك تروح shopping or ايمتا بدك تروح shopping امتين بدك تروح shopping or ايمتا بدك تروح shopping for the feminine and for the plural أمتين بد كنت روحو شوبينج أو أي متى بد كنت روحو شوبينج. Now to use أي ساعة that is what time. ساعة literally means hour but when we say أي ساعة that means what time. أي ساعة بدك تروح شوبينج. أي ساعة بدك تروحي شوبينج. أي ساعة بد كنت روحو شوبينج. And the answers could be something like الساعة تسعة الصبح for example that means nine o'clock in the morning so you say الساعة followed by the number followed by the time of the day is it morning, afternoon, evening etc another example الساعة تلاتي بعد الظهر so three o'clock in the afternoon so بعد الظهر means afternoon بعد الظهر الساعة تلاتي بعد الظهر now let's use evening الساعة ست المسا that is six o'clock in the evening الساعة ست المسا let's use night الساعة تسعة بالليل so nine o'clock at night الساعة تسعة بالليل And the last one, what do you want to buy? So, شو بدك جيب? That is, what do you want to get or what do you want to buy? شو بدك جيبي? شو بدكن جيبو? شو بدك جيب? For the man. شو بدك جيبي? When addressing a lady. 
And شو بدكن جيبو for the plural. And a possible answer could be something like بدي جيب تياب. That is, I want to get clothes. Or بدي اشتري. So we use the different verb here. That means I want to buy. بدي اشتري تياب. بدي جيب تياب. Or بدي اشتري تياب. And to say you want to go to a certain place. Let's look at the following vocabulary. بدي روح ع. So we use the particle ع. So I want to go to. بدي روح ع المول. In Lebanese that means the mall. ع المول. المول means the shopping center or the mall. بدي روح ع الدكاني. So, I want to go to the little shop or the small shop or mini market or mini store. There is a small shop in Lebanon that we refer to as Dikkeni. So, بدي روح ع الدكاني. Or, بدي روح ع السوبرماركت. بدي روح ع السوبرماركت. بدي روح ع محل التياب. That is a shop. Especially for selling clothes, and we call it in Lebanese محل التياب. بدي روح ع محل التياب. Now the electronics shop, we say بدي روح ع محل الإلكترونيات. محل الإلكترونيات. And now the vegetable and fruit shop, محل الخضرة. محل الخضرة. بدي روح ع محل الخضرة. And we refer to the person who sells vegetable and fruit as khudarji. So khudarji is the person who sells fruit and vegetable. And it's a very popular term in Lebanese. So بدي روح ع المول, بدي روح ع الدكاني, بدي روح ع السوبرماركت, بدي روح ع محل التياب, بدي روح ع محل الإلكترونيات, بدي روح ع محل الخضرة. Now let's imagine that we're inside the little shop, الدكاني. So نحنا بقلب الدكاني. We're inside the little shop. Of course you can say please and everyone will understand you, but you can also use other polite phrases in Lebanese such as لو سمحت for a man, لو سمحتي for a lady. So لو سمحت, لو سمحتي. And it literally means if you allow or if you may. Another phrase, إذا بتريد. And it literally means if you want. إذا بتريد or إذا بتريدي for a woman. من فضلك. And it also means please. Or من فضلك for a lady. And the literal translation would be I'm asking to be treated with your kindness. And to ask if the person has something, you say, do you have عندك? عندك? And then followed by the thing that you want. So عندك? Something. And I will give you an example. Or you can also say في. And it literally means is there. Let's look at the examples. عندك بطاطا? Do you have potatoes? عندك بطاطا أو في بطاطا Are there any potatoes or are there potatoes? في بطاطا So we can use عندك أو عندك if we're speaking to a female or we can say في So عندك بصل for example for onions Do you have onions? أو عندك بصل for a female أو في بصل are there any onions في بصل عندك جزر do you have carrots عندك جزر for a female أو we can say في جزر are there any carrots so now that you've asked about something and the seller has told you that he's got so he will ask you or she will ask you how many kilos would you like 
And for how many we use the question tool كم So كم كيلو بدك كم كيلو بدك If you're a female, the seller would tell you كم كيلو بدك And if you were more than one person, the seller would tell you كم كيلو بدكن So كم كيلو بدك كم كيلو بدك كم كيلو بدكن a possible answer could be بدي اثنين كيلو So بدي plus the number plus كيلو This is the simplest format بدي تسعة كيلو I want nine kilos بدي عشرة كيلو I want ten kilos Even if, if it was hundred it would be still the same format بدي ميت كيلو بدي ميتين كيلو I want two hundred kilos etc so this is the simplest and easiest way. Now for بدي اثنين كيلو some people uh, say كيلين بدي كيلين but just to simplify things you can still say بدي اثنين كيلو أو بدي ثلاثة كيلو بدي أربعة كيلو بدي خمسة كيلو etc. Now to ask how much and it's different from كم we use أدى. Or you can say be at day. So at day or at day. And some people say at dish. So it depends on um, the region in Lebanon, the accent, etc. So at day or at day or at dish. Let's stick to one to simplify. And the most neutral accent at day. So how much? And you can add to it the B particle. Be at day, like literally with how much. So at day or be at day. Okay, so at day kilo or be at day kilo. How much is the kilo? Now the seller is giving you the answer. So the kilo is for XX dollars. So el kilo be sabaha dollar, for example. So, el kilo b xx and then dollar. So, el kilo b sabaha dollar. That's how we pronounce it in Lebanese. Kilo b sabaha dollar. Or el kilo b tisaha dollar. Nine dollars. Or el kilo b ashra dollar. Ten dollars, etc. So, this is a very simple format. Or Lebanese liras. Kilo b sabaha So, the number plus alif, which means thousands kilo bi sabatalef el kilo bi tmentalef that means 8000 el kilo bi tisatalef that means 9000 so when i'm saying saba on its own i do not pronounce the ta at the end saba but when it's with alef that means thousands i assimilate the last letter from sabah which is the ta with the a at the beginning of alif so sabah talif not sabah alif sabah talif or not sabah alif sabah talif tman talif tisah talif etc now um the answer give me two kilos let's say so atini tnain kilo Give me two kilos. Atini tleti kilo. Give me three kilos, etc. And there's a dual uh, form for kilos, which is used in Arabic and in Lebanese. Atini uh, kilien. Atini kilien. So you can use either. And that is only for number two. But for the rest, like three, you say atini tleti. Atini tleti kilo. For four, atini. Arba kilo, etc. And if you want to say you want something else, Wa'atini kamen, and also give me Wa'atini kamen, etc. And you name the thing that you want. Wa'atini kamen, jazar, Wa'atini kamen, batata, etc. So it's from verb Ata, which means to give. Wa'atini, give me. So, wa'atini, kamen. Kamen means also, or in addition, or more. So, wa'atini, 
come in, also give me, etc. And to say thank you, a common uh, French word is used and that is merci. Or you can say shukran, shukran in Arabic. And we use a popular phrase, yatikil afi for a man or yatikil afi for a woman. Remember we said ata means to give. Over here we're using it in the present tense. Ya'atik al and we're referring to God, that is, may God give you health or bless you. So Ya'atik al or Ya'atik al And we use this phrase when someone is working hard, that is, in a shop or uh, doing any other thing. Let's say if you walk into the kitchen and your mom is preparing food, you say Ya'atik al Let's say you see your sister studying really hard, you say يعطيك العافية or your father came back from work, you tell him يعطيك العافية. For the plural, يعطيك العافية. يعطيك العافية. Now let's pretend that we're in محل التيب. Do you remember what محل التيب was? The clothes shop. Excellent. So, محل التيب, where they sell clothes, تيب. Now, let's say you like something. You can say, عجبني هالفستان, for example. So, I like this dress. فستان means dress. عجبني هالفستان. Now, to ask about the size. عندك يس ميديوم. For a man, that is, we're speaking to a salesperson that is a man. عندك, if the salesperson is a woman, عندك yes, medium. Yes literally means size. So عندك yes, medium, or عندك yes, large, let's say, etc. Now to say, can I try it on? في جربو. So can I try it? في جربو. And we used jarbo because fastan is a masculine noun. So fi jarbo. When ghirfit al malabis or ghirfit al iyas, so where is the changing room? When ghirfit al malabis, and sometimes it's called ghirfit al iyas, so it's the same thing. When ghirfit al iyas. Now you've tried the dress and you didn't like it. You say, Ma'ajabni. I didn't like it. Ma'ajabni. So you negated the sentence. So, Ajabni, I liked it. Ma'ajabni, I didn't like it. So I've mentioned that Fistan is a masculine noun. Let's say we're speaking about Tanura, which means a skirt. Tanura is a feminine noun. So when I'm saying can I try it on, I will say fi jarriba because it's a feminine noun. So jarbo that means try him literally because it's a feminine noun. So try it, but in the masculine. But fi jarriba because tanura is feminine. So literally we're saying can I try her? So, can I try it? But in the feminine. Now, let's speak about colors. So, if you want to ask about a certain color, uh, let's say, Baddi Amis Launu Abyad. I want a shirt which is white in color. So, Baddi Amis Launu Abyad. We use launu because amis is a masculine noun. But let's say we're speaking about a skirt. Baddi tanura launa ahmar. Why did we use launa? Because tanura is feminine. So launu versus launa. So the attached possessive pronoun changed according to the noun. So for the masculine, launu. For the feminine, launa. 
And if we're speaking about the plural, it would be launun, their color, liter literally. So think of it this way, launu means his color, like if it's a masculine noun, literally, just to simplify it. And launa, her color, launun for the plural. And notice something here that in this sentence, the color at the end doesn't change because it's a noun. So, amis launu abyad. The color is white. But if you look at the examples below, a white shirt, amis abyad. But when we say a red skirt, tanura hamra. So, we didn't say tanura ahmar or tanura abyad. We have to say tanura bayda. Tanura hamra, so the color itself changes. Why? Because it has to reflect the noun because over here it becomes an adjective. So the adjective has to be according to the noun. So if the noun is masculine, so the adjective would be masculine. If the noun is uh, feminine, it has to be uh, reflecting the same thing. So amis abyad or short Abyad, Fistan, Abyad, because they're all masculine nouns. But let's say Tanura is feminine. So Tanura Hamra, Tanura Khadra, not Akhdar, Tanura Bayda, not Abyad, etc. But in the first example, Amis, Launu Abyad, we don't touch it, we don't change it. Tanura Launa Ahmar, we don't touch the last word which speaks about the color because it's not an adjective. It's used as a noun here in this sentence. And to speak about the types of fabric and the texture, for example, let's take the word pantalon, uh, which means trouser in Lebanese. I think it's taken from um, a Latin word. So pantalon, we say. Pantalon mesh, that means made of fabric. Mesh. Bantalon emesh. Bantalon oton, that means made from cotton. Oton. And as you know in Lebanese, mostly we do not pronounce the letter qa. So we do not say the qaf letter. We swap it for the glottal stop. So we say mesh. Uh, mesh oton. Bantalon mesh. Bantalon oton. And for jeans, we just say jeans, or we can say pantalon, jeans. For shorts, we say short, short with a rolled R, short. And now that you've tried the dress or the skirt, um, you want to say that it's small or big, etc. So to say small, zghir, zghir. So for the fastan, the dress, al fastan we say zghir, but the tanura, tanura because it's feminine, a feminine noun, we say zghiri. So we have to change it to reflect the feminine noun because the adjective has to follow the noun in Arabic. So al fastan zghir, al tanura zghiri. You can say something as zghir, full stop. That means it's small. One word says it all in Lebanese. Or you can say kbir, uh, that means big. For a feminine noun, you will say kbiri. So for the dress, because it's masculine, al fistan, we say kbir. But the skirt, because it's feminine, we say kbiri. So, kbir, kbiri. And to say it's tight, we say wesa for the masculine or wesa for the feminine. Wesa, wesa. And to say tight, we say dayi. Dayi or dayya. So, al fistan, dayi, that means the dress is tight. It tanura, dayya, the skirt is tight. You can also say ktir, and it literally means too. So it's too tight, ktir dayi. Ktir dayi'a for the feminine noun. Ktir wese, 
كتير كبير كتير صغير etc so to add to you just say كتير now let's say you found it to be um, expensive you say غالي غالي means expensive for the feminine you say غالي so غالي غالي and to say it's cheap you say رخيص رخيص for the feminine رخيصة so غالي غالي رخيص رخيصة can you give me a discount فيك تعطيني حسن or فيك تعطيني خصم both mean the same thing both nouns mean discount so فيك تعطيني حسن or فيك تعطيني خصم now to address a lady you say فيكي فيكي تعطيني حسن or فيكي تعطيني خصم now to say reduce the price for me we say نزل السعر please of course you have to use the word please to address a lady نزلي نزلي السعر please And now let's speak about sale. So it's practically the same word in Lebanese. You can still say sale. And you'll often see these um, slogans that say تخفيضات or تنزيلات حسومات خصومات. So they all mean uh, the same thing. تخفيضات تنزيلات حسومات خصومات so they all mean that there are sales to ask if something is on sale for example is this dress on sale you say هل فستان بالسيل is it in the sales literally هل فستان بالسيل أو هل فستان عليه سيل is there any sales on it literally so هل فستان بالسيل أو هل فستان عليه سيل؟ Now to ask how many shirts do you want Let's say the seller is asking you how many shirts do you want كم أميس بدك So we use كم again for how many كم But remember that we use at day for how much So when we asked how much money at day سعر how much is the price at the kilo so how much is the kilo how much money that is is the kilo when we ask someone how tall they are we say at dish two luck or at day two luck at day was not like how much do you weigh at day umrak how old are you at day bit hibni how much do you love me at this sea also use at day for the time so when asking about the time how much is the time literally so what is the time at the sea and finally when you're about to pay so fatura means bill and receipt means wasl so fatura is the bill and wasl is the receipt so it's the proof of payment Fetura and wasl. Now asking about the kind of payments that they take. So the verb to take is أخد. So verb أخد. So you're going to say تاخدو. Do you take? تاخدو. Credit card or visa card. تاخدو. Or تاخدو. Cash etc. So رح أدفع. Cash, that means I'm going to pay in cash. Rah reflects the future. So, rah itfa cash. Now, to ask if they have changed, you say, Mag srafi. Mag srafi. For a lady, you say, Mag. Mag srafi. And there is also another expression, Mag frata. Or معك فراطة فراطة is the small change So let's say you give um, $10 But you want small change in return So you say فراطة 
معك فراطة أو معك فراطة Thank you for watching the video. Merci la enkon shafto video. I really do hope that you've enjoyed the lesson. To download free ebooks in Levantine Lebanese Arabic, visit the blog at www.learningarabicwithangela.com and navigate to Levantine Spoken Arabic. You can also visit the sister YouTube channel Learning Arabic with Angela for modern standard Arabic. You can also find me on Instagram, instagram.com Levantine Arabic with Angela. And you can also join my Facebook learning group, Learn Levantine Lebanese Arabic. Thank you and until the next video.